Hi folks, another sunny morning here in Ireland. Um, the horse thinks so as well. So, sorry, I thought I'd had an accident there. Uh, what I have here is the quad lock motorcycle mount system for my phone. I was looking and researching on YouTube what would be the best system for my Aprilia RS660. And I think aesthetically, this system is a good one. It's not the cheapest. In fact, it's probably the most expensive. So, um, I hope it does the job. I'll do a little bit of installation here and then we'll go out for a spin and see how it looks and how tight it feels. So this is the kit I've bought. That's obviously the fork stem mount. I bought this rather than having it attached to the handlebars because there's just not much space on the cockpit of the RS660 and uh, I was a little bit worried that if I bought the handlebar mount it would be sort of knocking off the windscreen every time I did a tight turn. Um, that is the black lock and lever. Again, I bought this only just for aesthetics because the one which comes with it is standard blue and I just don't think that would look too good on my black and yellow bike. Um, I bought the poncho. This was all just a few quid, this sort of stuff, you know, um, uh, obviously the poncho is the waterproofing for your phone and the, um, the spacers, just in case, again, I know it's, uh, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but it's quite tight in that little cockpit. So I bought the spacers just to give me a bit more wiggle room if I need it when I'm turning left and right so the phone doesn't knock against the tank or the windscreen. Might not need them, but hey-ho. What you will need, though, because there's a lot of blurb about this online, is the vibration dampener. If you're using an iPhone, you'll need this because the vibration from the motorbike has been known in a lot of cases to uh, affect the camera in the phone. Well, I'm saying affect it, actually break it because it uh, literally shakes it to shit, as they say. Okay. So not being a fan of unboxing videos, what I will show you though, is that uh, this is obviously the stem mount. It comes with two of these, obviously a bigger one for different size interior dimensions on the actual stem of the motorbike. But I've ch checked this, I've popped this into the Aprilia RS660 one, and that looks to be the perfect fit. I have read on a couple of Facebook forums that um, this, doesn't uh, tighten up too good on the RS660. So what I have done, I've bought um, a rubber uh, a sheath type of thing which goes over that um, and just makes a, a better grip, but it hasn't arrived in the post yet. So I'm just going to try it as the kit says, um, well, I, I, as it comes like this in the kit, I'm just going to try it like this. So I'm going to take that off now, tighten that up, um, with the Allen key, which obviously squeezes those all out and grips on the inside of the stem. So a bit tricky to do this single-handed, so I'm just going to do it and then uh, tell you the results. I'll show you the results afterwards. Okay, so as you can see in there, that's the little Allen key because I took the rubber cap off. So I'm now going to tighten it up with the tool which comes in the kit and we'll see So, I don't want to over tighten it because I'm renowned for doing that with my wife. I didn't mean that to sound the way it did there. You know what I mean? She's always taking the mick out of me when I do DIY things around the house and uh, over tighten and thread the screws and just generally mess everything up and start from scratch again. So, like I say, I don't want to over tighten it, but at the same time, I don't want me phone flying off. I think it's getting there. That's getting very tight now. So, like I say, I don't want to thread it. So, I'm going to leave it there. Now, that feels a very solid fit to me. I'm not sure I'll need the uh, the rubber grip. So, this goes back on there. I have to say, everything feels nice and solid here, which is... Good. And I won't over tighten this either because I'll just get the everything installed and then I'll find out exactly where I want the phone placement to be before I uh, tighten everything up. So next of all, this goes on, which is the, the vibration dampener. So that just goes on instead of the 
original locking mechanism. So this is supportable, you can see, yeah, it's a, even though it's rigid, you can see how it would be quite forgiving with the vibration on the phone. Yeah, and the, the forums are full of people with their broken iPhones as a result of this uh, mount before this vibration isolator came out. So I think it was 15 quid, so well worth doing it. And then this goes on there. So this is the original bit. So this goes back on top there, which I'll do now. Don't know which around I don't know which way around to do this, so I'll just put this on fairly loose for the moment until like I say I have everything in place. All the screws so far, by the way, which I've tightened in this kit, all have thread locker on, which is another good sign of a good build. And hopefully there'll be no vibration which comes through and rattles this loose. Okay, so now for the last bit, which is putting the phone in the actual quad lock case. And as you can see, that's what all the magic is about. That's where it, uh, it fits onto the actual stem mount very quickly. And that's why everybody's saying this is the most secure motorcycle case out there at the moment. Let's go for a spin as soon as this is on and see how secure it feels. Big thing with me is also how good it looks on the motorbike. You, you, you know me by now at this stage, it's all got to look good. If you're spending that amount of money on an amazing looking bike, you want all the little accessories to sort of tie in and work well, but look good as well. So let's just have a, a quick look to make everything snaps on as it should. Um, I'm not so sure I'll be mounting the phone vertically like that because it'll block the, the screen so um, I'll probably mount the phone horizontally which is what I've done with all my other phone mounts. Okay, that looks amazing, doesn't it? And I can see the cockpit straight over the top of the phone as well so the phone isn't actually blocking anything as you can see. I've uh, angled it forwards just so the screen is facing me as the rider rather than sort of lying flat down facing the sky because I'm just trying to minimise flare and reflection on the screen. But that all looks great to me. But as they say, the proof will be in the pudding. So time to hit the road. OK, folks, we're out on the road, obviously. <laughs> and uh, it feels absolutely solid. I can't twist it. The only slight movement you're seeing there is um, the forgiving vibration mount, which is what you want. Just to take the stress out of the camera on the iPhones especially. I don't know if any other phones are uh, affected by the cameras being uh, shaken, but this is absolutely solid uh, and a perfect position, I might add as well, for this uh, Aprilia motorbike. And it's fairly adjustable, as you saw when I was installing it. You can mount it further forwards, further back, and then you can angle the actual screen as well, just to minimise flare. I probably will mess around with it, because I'm a tinkerer. Um, but so far, very happy with that, and I absolutely love the way it looks. And what is quite nice as well, not just on this motorbike, but I would suspect on more, well, less sportier bikes, where you can sit back a little bit. If you need to, and I never ever recommend this, but if you need to answer a call, I've got the Senna um, system in my helmet, but if you need to answer a call, you can press the button on the side of the Senna. But for those of you who don't have an intercom, if you're just wearing the Apple iPods into your um, uh, uh, helmets, then of course you can very easily tap the screen. But again, I would never recommend taking your hands off the wheel, to be honest. But it's great for the sat-nav. That's all I have a motorbike... Uh, sorry, that's all I have a phone on a motorbike for, for sat-nav. Other than that, I very rarely play music unless I'm on a long journey. But even when I do play music, I like having the, uh, the volume low, just so I'm in touch with everything which is going on around me. 
There you go, don't I sound like a goody two shoes, Mr. Safety Officer? <laughs> I don't mean to be, but you know, I feel as though I have some sort of uh, responsibility when demonstrating phone mounts like this to put in a little bit of a disclaimer as well. So, anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, my impressions are over the moon with this. I'll, uh, I'll see how it goes over the next month or next six months, and I shall report back as to how the phone mount has stood the test of time and also how this poncho has stood any bad weather. But for now, thanks for watching. I'm Dave Perry for Wheelie Good TV. Over and out.